Hey, what's up you guys? It is Ty, and tonight me and Christy are staying at the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, aka America's Most Haunted Hotel. Happy birthday! <laughs> Christy brought me here for my birthday, and it is extra spooky. So just a little background on this hotel. It used to be a cancer hospital, and then they built onto it, and while they were doing the construction, apparently there were a lot of accidents, and there is one famous guy that was like this Irish stonemason, and he fell to his death from the top floor, and apparently he still haunts one of the rooms, and a lot of people see him. There's also a morgue in the basement with like tools and, and spooky stuff in there, and the basement also has like a bunch of wheelchairs and old hospital beds from like way back in the day, and this whole place is just so eerie. There's like this, this clock tower that rings every hour, and it's all spooky and there's bats that fly around outside. It's like it's like something out of a movie, honestly. And they have a hotel cat, <laughs> yeah. just to top it off. <laughs> they have a, a cat that lives in the hotel. This place was on Ghost Hunters, and also before we came here today, I was looking stuff up on YouTube about it, and it was on a top 12 list of haunted hotels you don't want to stay at. So that made me feel good. Present Hotel, Arkansas, USA. Ghost Hunters should book a night in room 218 of this hotel to meet Michael. Legend has it that Michael reaches for guests from the bathroom mirror and he is said to be one of the ghosts of a stone mason who fell to his death during construction of the hotel. A former cancer hospital, the Crescent Hotel is haunted by the ghosts of former nurses who can be seen pushing corpses around on gurneys. And guests often wake up to find their clothes scattered about the room. It's super scary, and what's so funny to me is I was a little bit nervous coming into it, and Christy has been like balls out, ready to go. And then when we get here, I'm not very superstitious, but honestly walking up the front steps as soon as we got like onto the property, you just feel like this huge weight, this pressure on your chest, and like it's undeniable. It's, it's a creepy feeling yeah. here. And so then she's been all like, don't leave me I've alone like, in the no, room. Like, I, I, as soon as we got here, like we just kind of situated ourselves in the room, and then I went into the bathroom, and I like actually freaked out. And I was like, no, like don't leave me alone, because you shut the door. I wasn't joking. Like I actually got scared. That's so so funny. yeah. This whole place is super old, and it's got like these crazy red ceilings. It's it's got these huge staircases, and apparently there was like a little girl that fell from the top of the, like, the fifth floor on the staircase and died. Was it the fourth floor? There's only four floors. There's four floors, yeah. There's just been like a lot of accidents regarding like people who live here and people that worked on the property. And a lot of people have gotten stuff on camera and on video and in pictures. So that's kind of what we're doing is just sort of walking around, looking at the hotel and getting all the spooky stuff. Honestly, if I don't get possessed, I want my money back. But I'm fine, if not, I guess. Well, like, if you get possessed, like, I'm leaving, so... <laughs> oh. She said, like, the railings and stuff and the balconies were so short because back in the Victorian era, like, everyone, the average height was, like, 4'11", which is just really small. So that's why I felt like I was gonna fall since the balcony was, like, to my thigh. Like, yeah. Like, the railing. And the railing on the stairs, too. So we're gonna walk around a little bit, show you guys what we can find while we explore. Maybe we'll get some spooky stuff. And I think we're gonna live stream from here too, so follow me on you now. Obviously you're not gonna be there for this because this is going up on Halloween, but you can see my future live streams on you now. My name is Ty Turner on there, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope we get some spooky stuff, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Happy Halloween! All right, so here's the stairs when you come up, and then there's the main hallway, and then here's like a scary side hallway, and then, there's like this weird little secluded area with two separate rooms and of course this is our room. You come in here and notice that the fireplace has been boarded up first of all and there's like this weird cabinet thing here with like a heater and a fucking like gurney thing which is normal but it's still a little unsettling. And it's just so old and the ceiling is bright red and then you come in here and this is the bathroom and it's got like a door and like this kind of lock this huge mirror I don't know it's just very old-fashioned this tile tile floors it's like not even a full cover on the window it's it's just like that and the balcony is like a shared balcony 
And then um, there's this little this little magic space to Narnia right here. It's just like a, a one. Yeah, look, you can like see I above can see and below. Their look at that. That's under the door. Okay. <laughs> That's like another room, and it's just like this one little door, which isn't like ooh spooky, but it's like if someone tried, they could probably get in here. So it's definitely like an old place and it's got like a very creepy vibe to it. And then there's like, the balcony is, is just weird for its own reasons and I'll show you that. So this is about thigh height for me. Um, if I fell, I'd die. Who's that spooky crescent peach at the Crescent Hotel? The prophecy is through. Spookyween! Also, we have a view of a huge illuminated Jesus statue. So. Oh, gross! Yeah, think about that.